Alright, we're live. Allow me to just double check if my voice is right. Alright. Yeah, that's good. That's good, awesome. Hmm. So welcome back everybody, welcome back to the Mohawk Project. And uh, today we're gonna be working on the you know, last bit that is uh fully white. It's right over here, you know. Uh right there you go. This so we're gonna be working on this part and then on this part and then we're finally gonna start with the second color harvest. And then you know fill it up uh, fill it in from there on. So uh let's get started on this. <clears throat> Sorry my voice is a little bit uh, rusty. Uh happens, you know. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, that works fine. So uh today I have seen the movie Wonder Woman, if I'm correct. Not the eight not the eighty seven but the the one from Netflix. And uh yeah. Not one of the best I ever saw. Eh, it's doable. It's doable yet non doable. It's a little bit iffy. It's like, you know, watching those terrible movies that you know back in the days when you know that those things were terrible I mean they're like casual movies that you only only see once and then you don't so yeah um let's get started on uh the Malfoy project so today we're gonna be working on fixing the last bit of the color of the same color, the first color of the uh, many to go. So we have like five colors that we need to work on, and of course we need to make sure that those every single time are correct. So we're gonna be working on that. But yeah, I was a little bit over exhausted because of all the information that I just went in my fucking in my fucking head from that movie. It happens, you know. I uh, wanted to see the full movie, and uh, it happened. So yeah, um, today we're going to be working on the moth project, which means that, uh, which means that you know we're going to be focusing on getting everything done. Or at least I want to have this basic color done, and then we can see how far we can go. Probably I'm going to be working on first on the first color, so that's going to be like one whole color, and then the second one, and then the third one. It all depend. It all depends on how I'm going to be forming it. I'm not yet deciding uh, which uh, which wing I'm going to be using it, so which wing I'm going to be using for the colors. So I'm also not knowing if I'm going to be using the same pattern as on the other parts of the wing, but I think consistency is key. Yeah, so I'm going to be working on that too. Also, um, today I actually have played a lot of Skyrim, so yeah. My hand is a little bit uh, iffy. It's not because of I did a lot of things, but I was like, you know, I had to do the controller part. My nephew was only making the decisions because, you know, he he is not that great at handling controllers just yet. Well, he got far, but every single time there was combat, <laughs> he was like, "Please hold this. You're you're now the captain. I don't want to be the captain anymore." So yeah, we actually beat. We actually were level six, six and we actually beat the uh, uh, drought overlord, if I believe. Well, one of them it was actually quite cool that uh, at level six you can already beat him. I totally did not cheese him. Totally not. Yeah, I cheesed him big time. It was like a table behind. It was like a table I could run around and just you know hit that guy several times and then he dropped dead afterwards took only like I don't know 20 hits before he went down so yeah um but that said I also cheesed the dungeon of it itself some areas had like a lot of spawn 
with Draugr's. Actually made sure that those things did not get in my way, so I actually wound up sometimes a little bit stealthy. It's not normally my style, you know, I like to hit people in the face, but uh, when, uh, when there are like elite dudes running around being very being very strong, and especially if there are two in one area, it's sometimes hard. Oh, hey, Blue. Nice to see you. Nice to see you again. It, uh, so yeah, um, I have, I had a blast. We actually used magic, but we only used restoration magic because we had to deal with undead, so yeah. Also, we planted with some mods that uh, made sure that, you know, the undead actually would stay dead, so yeah. Um, well, the spells are better. You can now turn on, you can now turn undead into, you know, that they will run away. Um, so yes. Uh, so that's that. That's actually what I did today. I actually had a great day. Played Skyrim, watched a movie, had pizza. Eh. You know, just casually, just me doing my job. Having a having a blast at a day. It's only Tuesday. Yes, it's only Tuesday. So, um, today I'm going to be doing these feathers again, I know, and I'm trying to get towards the second color, but of course I need to make sure that I do this consistency, so I need to make sure that I do this rightfully so, so that I don't get things confused. Um, so yeah, we need to find a t subject to talk about. Hmm. Hmm. What kind of subject would I talk about? Because uh, it's it's not special. It's just nothing here to, you know. It's just you know coloring. Um, let's go for something. Let's pick a book. Yeah. Where are we gonna go for? Ah yes, we're gonna be going for the compo. Ah yes. How do you spell this one? It's called the com. Posa the com the com posa nagatos. Ah, all right, the com posa nagatos. Com com sa. I don't know easier words. Jeez, these are. This is the, like the really early. Ah, uh, here it is. This one is way easier to describe. Jeez Louise, I was thinking like what the hell? What are names? So it's the cool it's the Kulu Physis. There you go, Kulu Physis. You probably don't know this guy, but uh, I do. Um the Kulu Cyphus. It's a it's a primitive theropod, so that's good. And it can grow from two meters to uh, from two meters to four meters. It stands as tall as uh it's like have a it's like a really it's a, like a real uh sling uh terapod which is you know it's a really slim one it's like small it's like very uh, aerodynamic it's one of those terapods that actually survived the problem in the in the Eura am I correct right this is Eura right no this is yes Eura Beginning of the Eura, yes, beginning of the Eura, exactly. It survived one of the calamities that the Eura actually had to deal with, which was actually dry, uh, dried. Um, so these things actually lived in, you know, packs. So these were pack animals, but they were ferocious. So they eat whatever was on the menu. If it was babies, it was babies. If it was chickens, it was chickens. If it was animals, it was animals. It was a big giant predator. Uh, if it was a big giant predator about to die, yes, it would. It would wait and kill it. So yeah, um, these things were opportun opportun opportunists. 
that killed each other's young for food if necessary. And they were not actually really, uh, you know, they were not really decisive or what they what they want to do. So yeah, um, because they were the one of the first theropods in 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 the in the beginning. The main oh oh hey Mark. Did you hear that? Uh, what the uh, did you hear uh what the next wrong stream pump is, Ma Mark? Oh, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. He probably didn't know. He probably didn't did didn't know. I can tell you. Uh, let's see. Oh, we just wait for the answer to pop up, and then you know, Mark will finally realize what it is. I could also just spoil it. Uh, spoiling is a thing that I can do, but you know, I always like to see some people surprised. So yeah. Oh, look at that. That's lovely. I don't think he knows, Blue. Otherwise he would have already answered. Uh, uh. I'm gonna be saying it anyway. It's uh, called the team... The, my theme is... Uh, my theme is... Uh, how do you say? Uh, dreadful. So, technically, fear, if I'm correct, that's the right word for it. Dreadful. It means that there is a build-up of fear. If you didn't know. So yeah, it's gonna be dreadful. That sounds actually quite bad if you're saying it like that, you know. It's gonna be dreadful. Because I'm always confused, confusing it with uh, awful. Which is not a real good idea to do it or compare it to. So, yeah, because they have totally different means. Um, so, yeah, it's gonna be the theme dreadful. I'm already working on my art, just in, just in case. I mean, really, I'm just gonna be thinking, I'm, I'm just gonna do some late finishing during the stream. Because I actually want to show you guys what I can do in two months or in two day in two weeks on you know how f how far how well I can draw or how well I can do things in two weeks uh two in two weeks without you know disruption or whatever of course there are gonna be still things like you know people family coming over whatever. Always need to make sure that uh, I have make time for that. But yeah. So yeah. Um. That's the thing. So um, uh, let's go back on the project where I was before, and that was that. The uh, Kulusifus is actually there are different ty there are different type of Kulusifuses like you know on build, but they're all they're all the same. They're all the same. They're all slim. But yeah, the, they are very extreme uh, agile creatures with large uh, large tails. So that means that they have. Um, Oh well, not large. I mean, long. Ugh. Why am I always keeping those and confused? So yeah, it's gonna be long. Um, it's gonna be long. So the uh, the idea here is that you know these creatures were actually quite. L yeah, you missed it. Aw. don't worry. I think it's in my. Uh, I think it's in my profiles already. There, that it is there. I should technically make a playlist of them, but I didn't do it, so I should do it next time. Anyway, 
Uh, so yeah, next uh, in two weeks, what we'll... can I hear it again? What the word or where you can find it? I could repeat it both. All right, you could. All right, I will repeat it both then, in just in case. Uh, so you could find the uh, you could find the live stream uh, in my no in my uh, in my uh, channel itself. It should be it should be just you know the drawing stream should be very simple to find because it's like you know it's a drawing stream with blue and crow it should be there. Um and uh what the theme was about on the drawing stream was about as uh, about centaurs and next stream is about dreadful the word dreadful 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 I think I spoke it right out yes probably should be um so yeah I hope that I hope that will fix things dreadful ah yes <laughs> so uh you want to come on too then yeah? you want to you want to you want to you want to show your you want to show your uh, drawing as well then on the in two weeks or you're saying like nah I'm just gonna be watching sweet we're having us we having a four a foot a, a, a fourth guess yes a fourth guess a fourth, not a fifth, not a second, not a third, a fourth, a fourth guess, which uh, I think that's all right. Yeah, surely. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have a fourth guess. Nice, nice, nice. I'm excited on uh, seeing your uh, art style, Mark. Let's see how it's uh, gonna be uh, going on that part. It's pretty fun, from what I have seen so far. Nice, 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 nice. We're gonna have tons of fun with all each other. The good news is, you know, even though you know I'm using, even though I'm using a, uh, uh, bu 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 how do you say, Streamyard for you know streaming with more people, I think I'm not on. I'm. I don't think I'm gonna get into my limit because you know it's like only two hours every two. Uh, every two, every every uh, every one of two weeks. So yeah, one in the two weeks, and then you know, after two weeks have passed, it's already a month. So it's only four uh, four hours in total. So I should be fine. I should be fine. So yeah. That's gonna be a celebration. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So yeah, I'm gonna be happy to uh, see you around then as well. That's gonna be lovely having four pe having t uh, having to increase it from uh from three to four. That's gonna be lovely indeed. It's gonna be diddly doodly dan dandy. Here you go. Easy words. It's gonna be awesome. That's a better word. Awesome. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Extremely nice. So yeah. All right. Allow me to read the rest of it. Um. So, uh. How you can detect these creatures? Normally, these creatures are green, with uh, yellow stripes, and uh, uh, and normally the males are actually more heavily built than the females. So these 
little dinosaurs are, well, not little, they're medium size, but still, they're considered small, if you compare it to T-Rexes and all that stuff. So these Colo uh, Colocyphus, um, let's see, uh, so these things actually breed every uh, through the year through, so these things don't stop uh, having fun. Let's put it that uh, let's put it that way. They don't they don't stop having fun. So they overpopulate it themselves and then eat the population that is starving. So that's how uh, that's how these things these bad boys work in the desert. Remind you by the way, these oh gotta go help need uh, help out my girlfriend. But have a nice e uh, evening everyone. All right. Have a nice have a nice evening, uh, Mark. I hope. Uh, I hope I hope I will speak with you again very soon. So yeah. So uh these these Kulocyphuses are actually quite inter interesting. So you need to notice that they are living in a desert climate, all right? So it's like not a lot of rain, very desertly like and these creatures, you know, they they feed on every single thing they touch. The you know they're like cannibals. They breed all the year through, and you know they totally exhaust the resources in the uh, in the uh, environment. And don't forget, water holes are rare to see and places to be. So it's like you know there are certain parts that there is some rain, but not everywhere is rain. So there are certain parts that are greener than others, but most parts are desert. So these creatures just go from one water hole to the next, and then you know f eat everything on the way to it. Because these creatures are instead of cold-blooded, uh, warm-blooded, because you know that's what the main idea is about about it. Well, I think it is. No, no, no. Wait, hold on. All the way around, right? No. Ah, uh, how how did it go? How did it go? Come on, I know this. I know. Yes, because they're not warm-blooded, their you uh their water use because because they're not cold-blooded, their water uh because they're not cold-blooded but warm-blooded, most of the cases like dinosaurs are. They actually have a better chance surviving in such a climate. And why would I say such a thing? Why would I say that um, cold-blooded animals uh, have less of a survivability than warm-blooded animals in a desert climate? It's because of the dehydration quality. Technically, you know, lizards could actually live better in a warm climate than a cold climate, but they overheat really quickly. And I mean, like, they cannot survive dense heat. They will burn. So they bury themselves normally on the ground. Eh? And because they cannot regulate their own body heat, they actually uh, build up too, ma uh, too much mental... Ma mental eh. They build up too much energy uh, consumption uh, if they are too long in the sun. Which means they grow hungry really fast. These things don't grow hungry really fast, but they burn a lot of energy because they are used because they're warm blooded. They regulate their own temperature, but you know they regulate their own temperature like birds do, and because of their uh, because they don't uh, because they don't have uh, because they have uh, a different type of urine, so they dip they uh, their Output, so the thing that they leave behind, is different than from a reptile. A, a reptile substance is uh, not is fully water-based. That thing, so that thing is actually not 100% water-based. So the output of these things uh, actually uh, make sure that they still have some water inside of them, which makes them water. Uh, which makes them more adaptable in warm climates because uh, in hot climates because they are like you know they can regulate their own body temperature at but they then need to eat more all right
that works. That explains the hunger. They uh, are hard survivors because they can actually, you know, they don't consume too much water. They are water dependent, but they can uh, they can survive longer without water because of a less consuming, uh, less uh, of le less watery uh, piss they left behind because it's not urine. It's urine instead of urine. Or if I'm correct, that's the way to say it. I don't know if I say it correctly. I, uh, it's, it has been a little bit uh, long. It has been a little bit long since I. Uh, I have a book around about it that you know, one uh, the difference between cold blooded and warm blooded, uh, with the whole damn uh, production of uh, urine and uh, urine. So the amount of radioactive material and all that stuff and tells you about how the uh, why and how why humans are like you know they are water dependent don't get me wrong but you know they can they do can survive a little bit longer in the desert than normal normal apes would but that's not because of the urine it's because of the hair it's because of the isolation of the hair the amount of hair it has so yeah, uh, well anyway, these things, uh, these things actually lay eggs in with a uh, with a tiny with a little bit of a shell uh, around uh, with a little bit of uh, low low vegetation, which is quite cool. And you know they look for prey, tiny prey, medium prey, little animals, big animal animal animals that are you know tasty enough to get by groups or you know alone. Depends, but yeah, they walk in packs. Um, allow me to introduce you how many of the groups there are. So, if you think that a tiger group is big, you know, six of them, that's big, truly. It's actually quite big. You know, six tigers, whew, you don't want to mess with six tigers. Guess how many, how many in one group of these things can get. If you guess the correct answer, 80, you're right. So yeah, um, these things travel in packs of uh, 40 to 80. That's like a big amount of creatures just, you know, stamping into your, into your place and saying, Hello, allow me to just introduce myself. Hello, my name is I am the, I want dinner. And uh, you're it, you know, that kind of thing. So these things are ferocious. Of course, you know, there are some different kind of animals that actually are better adapt against these types of creatures, like, you know, predecessors of crocodiles and all that stuff. They have, like, thick skin, so, you know, they won't be bothered by these little bastards. There are, like, 40 of them. And, you know, it will kill, like, 20 or something, and then, you know, that pack will just be like, ah, run away, you know. It's like rats. You you only can fight rats when uh, when they're alone. If there are more of rats, you don't you don't want that. You don't want to have more rats. So yeah. Um, yep. If you if you see if you see the they they act like you know red ants. They they just destroy everything they meet. Yeah. It it says exactly what it says in the. Uh, into place. These things are scary. I'll tell you that. They're really food. They're really food dependent. Uh, they were actually the first kind of animals that you know, after the Ura actually went away, uh, they were still alive. Why? Because they were really opt. Uh, they were really optimistic. They were like, they were like scavengers of the early early years. They were highly adaptable. They could live in every climate there was, and you know, they they survive they survived the evolution towards uh, the Ura. There you go. They survived the evolution to the Ura, and after that, you know, they died out because Ura happened. Uh, well, technically, the Great Flood happened, and after you know, the, after Trias went to Europe, the Great Flood happened, which you know, uh, because of heavy raining seasons, a lot of places became more 
wet and some flooding is happening and you know a lot of creatures got uh, ca were caught off guard like you know I'm living in a desert suddenly rain to no end ah yes that's a problem so yeah uh, that's the thing that uh, that these creatures were you know not adaptable to which caused them to die yes dying so let's let's find a new creature that I am really fond of. Uh, no, I don't need this. Ah, here it is, the Plateosaurus, uh, the early the early big giant herb uh, the big giant herbivores of sauropods, the early the early sauropods. Um, the idea of these creatures was actually that they were big. You know they were be pretty tall. They uh they had a length between six and ten meters, so that's uh, quite long, and they could stand on the hind legs to reach to uh to reach the foliage of the trees. Normal creatures, of course, would not be able to get to those trees that are in the areas where there was a lot of water. But these creatures, yeah, they could. They uh they definitely could. These uh, plateosauruses actually survived into uh, till the late Jura, which is actually quite cool. These uh, these species actually qu uh, survived quite late. They survived the Trias and uh, went into the Jura, according to this uh, book. Yes, to the book. Very important books. Tell a lot of stories. Or well, at least you know the. Uh, let's see the plateau. Oh no 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 no! They were they were from the Trias and they stayed until the Trias. I'm looking at the family type, the proto uh, proto uh, the protosauropods. There you go, the protosauropods, meaning early sauropods. There you go. So yeah, these things could stand on behind legs, eat the leaves on the trees that are bigger, unreachable for. Most creatures, because most creatures actually add on the vegetate uh, on the vegetation on the ground in the places where you know there was vegetation and no desert. But of course, you know that has a lot of concur uh, concur uh, that had a lot of you know co uh, competitors, and you don't want to have competitors, so you look for the big trees to get the food that you want. Also, they had a defense mechanism against uh, nasty little boys. Such as the lean lee line sternus lean and sterus. Ugh that's a big word right there. That's not a word that I want to repeat myself many times. Lean and sterus. Um it's a it looks like a it's look like it looks like a dalosophosaurus, but um it doesn't have the cane that it doesn't have a great cane, you know. It's uh, like, you know, it's a little bit smaller. But yeah, it's uh, one of the earlier. Uh, it's one of the earlier uh, ter theropods that is actually uh, bigger. So it's one of the early theropods that is actually quite big. It it stands as to, it it stands as tall as uh, two humans, if I'm correct. So yeah, these these things were actually as big as a. Uh, I think they were. Equally long, yeah, they were equally long as a plethosaurus, so yeah, they were big, big predators right there. So, yeah, the, these things hunt in packs, and then you know, try to one distracts them, and the other one strikes and bites near the chin, near the chin, and tries to suffocate it. Or, well, you know, rabbit to shreds, yeah, rabbit to shreds. There you go. Anyway, so yeah. Also, we have here an awesome fight. Lovely. You can, of course, not see it, but I can. It's an awesome fight between them. So the Platosaurus actually uses his claws because you know the Platosaurus could actually stand on its hind legs and uses its claws, his big thumbs, to uh, strike one of them in in the eye. So yeah, uh, one of them is already blind. The other one is wounded and try to uh, try to avoid the claws that you know this big creature is because you know 
it's really hard to get to the neck if uh, you know it's standing on his hind legs. And it had a good tail, so it could get kept its balance and then you know use its arms to strike. It's actually quite funny that you know the big claws are actually inwards uh, of the platosaurus. It has actually the thumbs that are inwards positioned, so it's more used for clinging on to something than uh, using to uh, for the outs. So yeah, he uses its, he uses its paw to scratch it in the air and you know it hits the it hits the other creature so yeah it's quite a uh, quite nice illustration right there lovely use of uh, colors and colorations and uh, quite nice and then we're almost at the end of uh, the trios and we're gonna go to the Euro. Of course, you know, the Euro de de develops other creatures, you know, like the Allosaurus. Well, you know, the Allosaurus is actually very easy to, to, to distinguish. It has these big giant combs on uh, near the... Well, not, not combs, they're more like... Uh, um, how do you say that? Like... How do you say that? Like a rhinoceros. Horns, yes. It has like horns near the eyes. Oh well, moving upwards to the eyes. Which gives it distinct, you know, uh, distinction between it. Between, you know, races. Which makes it iconic, at least. So yeah, these things are actually 9 meters to 12 meters long. That's, uh, that's long for a dinosaur. I'll tell you that. Which also makes it uh, develop. All right. Well, so now we're <clears throat> allow me to grab some water here. There we go. So now we're working on the uh, second part of this, which means we're now gonna be looking for. So what is the next color? The next color is gonna be that. All right, good. I need, I need actually the second wing as well. Not the second, first wing. I need it. Where is it? Looking for it. This is the first wing. Did I disable this one? Yes, I did. All right. So what I want to do is now see if I am gonna be using the same pattern here. I'm gonna be working with this color right here. So yeah, well, I'm very happy that Marcus wants us to uh, want to join with us on that lovely live stream. So I'm happy. It's gonna be lovely. Um. So yeah. Where do I need to go now? I'm here, right? Yeah. Now I need to make a new. A new one, yes, and I need to actually zoom out on this. Yes, indeed, woohoo, the next color, I'm so happy. Yeah, actually I am. Actually I am, really am happy that I'm using this new color here. So, the idea behind this color is gonna be... What is this color all about? This color is all about... Uh, all right. So that's what it is. Whew. So, oh man, this yeah, it should be a fun stream. Oh yes, definitely. I'm gonna have so much fun. So it's gonna be like this. So it's gonna be like this. And then it needs to be like that, nah, and then there. Nah. Alright, cool. I need to change the position of the. Uh, like this, and then I can now finally zoom in.
So it's going to be one then and then two. So this is going to be two then. Yes, it's going to be two. Alright, cool. Oh boy. You know, the main difficulty here is that I need to adapt my own eyes to see it, the proper the proper way of how to do things. So it's actually quite fun to see how well I'm doing, but... Oh boy. Sometimes a little bit confusing upon how I need to do stuff. And I mean, really, it is. Alright, so it's gonna be like that. And then I need to now make sure that I have this one as well working. Oh boy. Uh, and then I need to get over here. Alright, oh, this is going to be confusing as hell. So, after this, what gets then? Needs to be two again? Yes, two again, and then one downwards. So, two again here. I need to turn. I need to turn. There you go. So yeah, we are now actually working on the next color. And uh, we're getting close to uh, the end of this stream again. Holy hell. It's like only 10 minutes in and then we're done. Which means that I actually did a good job on knowing stuff. Also a car just, you know, beeped in my neighborhood and I'm like, why is this car beeping? You guys probably didn't hear a car beeping, but I did. And I was like, hmm, why should someone beep on this late of a date? And I'm like, oh, it's because of all the madness, yes. It's all because, all because people are so mad at somebody and you're like, get in the car now, we're driving home. You know, something like that could happen, or whatever. Something. Use your imagination. I don't know. I find it quite interesting to, you know, just speculate. Because speculation is always good. And now we're going to go right over there. Fix this last part. Oh boy. I need to do this one then. Oh, I let it die here. Alright, good. I let it die. Awesome. So then this would not be the right way to do things. Nope. So, yep, I need to do it like this. Cool. Cool beans, right there. Oh hey Dunkelson, nice to see you. Maybe they got a new car horn and they want to show it off. Yeah, that could also be it. All right, so this is looking lovely now. So yeah, we're we're almost getting there. Gonna add some more, you know, color a little bit. So it's more relatable. So yeah, um, I learned a lot about uh, the new movies I watched today. Apparently, making sure that your plotline is relatable is very important. 
nowadays. It's like, remember that we did this, and then you did this, and then we were like, wow. No, it, a lot of explosion happened in the uh, background, and uh, somehow things got on. Uh, get, some, somehow, some miracle, you know, everything got set on fire when the when the superhero went mad. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's quite funny to see, you know, spontaneous combustion at its finest. So, what kind of color do we need now? That's the question. Hmm. What was the second color? Ah, there was that color. Yes, of course. Should have known better. Wait a minute. Ah, yes. I forgot. I put this. Alright, so this is the next color I'm going to be needing. Which all involves into drawing. Beautiful, perfectly round shapes, right? It's like these things, yes. Um, do I have time for this? Oh, that's the question. Ah, it's looking quite good. Yep, it does. Hold on, I'll show you. Boom, bam, bam, boom, bada, beam, bada, boom. There you go. It's looking awesome already. Even though I'm uh, a little bit confused what I'm gonna be doing now, which is drawing this madness. So yeah, I'm gonna be drawing that. And I forgot something. <sighs> I forgot I had a midsection on this as well. God damn it! See, I knew that I forgot something. I knew it. I just. I just knew. I just fucking knew. Mm. All right. I'm gonna be doing that then, and then I'm gonna be finishing off. Because holy hell, this is annoying. See, this is why I'm doing this twice. Not because of you guys, but because I need to make sure that everything. Ooh, very spooky water now. Just to make sure that everything is working as it should be. Because holy hell, this thing can get sometimes really confusing to the bone. So this one needs to be gone. And I need to pull the second part of this. Uh, so how do I do this one? Alright. Cool, so it's gonna be like blap and blap. Like that? Yeah, because it, the wing has been collapsed, yes. And then it's gonna be like from here, uh, wait. It's gonna be up and down from this bottom side. Right. What is that next? It's gonna be. It's gonna be two. It's gonna be up and down. And it's gonna be a straight line. There you go. And it's gonna be another straight line. Oh, great. Ooh baby. Ooh baby. I want you baby. Stay away from my baby. But mother, I love him. Yes. That's an exactly a quote. I love it. There you go. Now we're gonna be fixing this up. Probably coloring it again. Just 
just get some more color inside because otherwise uh, things might look not as good as it should be. Right, there we go. Ah, uh, so yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Sorry, guys. Uh, I need to. I just need to do this before I go because holy hell, I made a mistake. I fix it. <laughs> Alright, um, so yes, yes, yes. By the way, in the movie when they use muscle gash, uh, which isn't flambama and they shoot a tank, it would have not blown up the plane. Yes, I know, I know, which bothered me a lot. Which bothered me a lot, it's like, what? I thought this gas was non-explosive and you know, you blow the whole plane up. Uh, Alright, fine. I didn't find the whole. I didn't. I didn't like the whole. Uh, the whole power fantasy of fighting with you know, it's like watching. It's what. It's like watching Yu-Gi-Oh. It's like, haha! I found a counter against your counter, and then I get stronger, and then a sudden burst in the hero finally beats the bad guy. It's like really cliche, but the worst thing is that you know. You you see the suing happening, which I don't know. I'm just not a fan of all this, you know, superheroes that are too strong to be strong, and then they get even more stronger. So they get they're already super powerful, and then you know they finally meet the bad guy, and they get even more strong. It's like, how do I? How can I? You know, like this or see this as a how can I empathize to this person if, you know, this person is too strong and has no major weaknesses? I feel, I feel really like she doesn't have to hide her identity. She doesn't have to, you know, do anything. She, she, she's almost perfect, which it feels like, yeah. Well, at least in the movie, she felt a little bit too perfect. Because every scary scenario, she just like, I oh, just mow through them and then, you know, nothing happens. Also, the teleportation, uh, the teleportation spontaneous uh, spawn of uh, conscripts uh, was a bit, a bit uh, strange. But anyway, um, let's, uh, let's end this video on a good note. Um, thank you everybody for watching. And uh, I hope I'll see you all next time. And I'm thinking I'm getting really good at uh, getting this pattern correct. So uh, I hope ne uh, tomorrow we're going to be working on the pattern, or should I call it a day off? I think I will do calling a day off because I actually am on done stream and I need to make sure that I prep correctly. So tomorrow is going to be day off, uh, just in case, uh, because you know I need to. I need to listen, but I could do it though, right before done stream. Yeah, I think I think I will just do it anyway. No surprise, I will just continue doing my stream, and then you know after my stream is done, done stream will be starting. So I hope uh, I'm just gonna be quitting a little bit earlier, so it's gonna be like 30 minutes or 40 minutes, uh, just in case that I'm not you know I'm just gonna quit earlier. Than before. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching. And until the next time, I'll see you then. Bye! Oh, thank you all. Thank you.